Hey folks, we're back. So I just ran a gel of our Colony PCR and I just wanted to kind of look at it with you guys and go over it and talk about what it means and what the next steps would be. So let's take a look at it. So I ran the gel and I actually just uh, sent a picture of it to myself it's on my computer now. So we're just looking at that gel. Uh, I'm just going to point out some of the features. So we have our ladder there and then it was eight uh, different PCRs so you can see all of our bands. Um, and they're all the same size. Unfortunately, they are the wrong size, they're too short. So we have, if we look at our ladder, we can see there's a 6 KB band, a 3 KB band, a 1.5 KB band, and a 1 KB band. And our background is actually a little bit less than 1 KB, uh, but then the primers that we use bind outside of the actual part, so it adds up to about a KB. Um, and we know that our composite part would have actually been closer to about 16 to 1700 base pairs. So that should have been a little bit above that band. But since we don't see any bands there, we know that our colony PCR is wrong and unfortunately we, we're not gonna be able to um, proceed forward. However, let's just say it was right. All we would have to do is go to our PCR strip that had all those cultures in it, suck up the cultures that were correct uh, squirt it either into a culture tube or 24 well block and then we would be able to mini prep it uh, the next day. So hopefully that makes sense. That's kind of what the uh, conclusion would be. Again, this would have been culture tube 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.